Oh, you know what? It's surprisingly good. I did not expect that. It's so little code. It worked. I cannot believe it. Right, we're gonna try to write a script using ChatGPT to make a simulated raindrops. So write a P5JS script that simulates raindrops. I mean, that's not very much direction. So let's see what it does. Okay, this looks a little, a little basic. Oh, you know what? It's surprisingly good. I did not expect that. It's so little code. Okay, that is interesting. Let's, let's see, what can we do to make this better? We could have, um, we could add a flash of lightning every few seconds. I don't know. Will it do it? All right. When to flash the lightning counter. Every 50 frames, reset the counter and flash the lightning. Set the fill color to white. I mean, that's basically what I was thinking. Let's see. Okay. Oh, that's not a great lightning. Can, can we can we uh, make the lightning cooler? Lightning. How do you spell lightning? Lightning. Can we make make it way cooler? <laughs> does, it, does it know what I mean? I mean, that's kind of boring, right? Like it's not. That's not like real lightning. To make the lightning look cooler, use the noise function. Okay. <laughs> Jagged shapes that look more like lightning. Okay. I'm afraid this is gonna be too cool, but let's give it a try. Okay. Oh, you can kind of see, you can kind of see it, but that's not that cool. It's, it's, it's kind of interesting. Um, I just be like, I don't like this lightning style. Oh, I missed it. I'm gonna learn how to spell that. I don't like this lightning style. Uh, try another. Can it, can it even understand? I, like, sometimes I'm blown away. Like, sometimes it's like, what the hell are you talking about? And, uh, sometimes it's like, okay, and it just does it. If you don't like the lightning sound in the previous example, you can try a different approach using the curve. It, I mean, it does understand. And I mean, understand. Let's use all this in quotes. But like, let's see. It does like try something else. Let's see. Oh, interesting. So now it's like little, little waves. It doesn't get it quite right. But oh, you know what? If those were vertical, can we say... Um, change the lightning to be um, vertical instead of horizontal. Because it is, you, it's like going across, but it's the wrong way. I mean, to, let's see. To make lightning vertical, you can simply change the long drawing code. Here's the version of the script that draws vertical lightning. Really? Because it would take me a while to sort that out. It worked. I cannot believe it. Okay, let's change this. Okay, change the stroke of the lightning to be random. One through ten. Yeah? Uh, I don't know how big ten is, but... I cannot believe that worked. All right, let's go up and copy this. Oh, oh, it got me. It got me. You have reserved a function called stroke weight to make sure to be, no, that, ah, okay. So it's, 
This is kind of P5's fault, to be honest, because P5 is giving the wrong error. So I'm going to let this one pass. Um, I'm going to let this pass. This is not going to work. Let stroke weight set stroke weight. But we know right here that it's actually stroke weight var here, and you change it to stroke weight var. This, that's, that's the actual solution. So it does need, well, it's changing the... It's changing everything. Gosh, I kind of love this, though. But the lightning is pretty good, actually, especially the thicknesses at, at the, the bigger thicknesses. It's almost like a different rain theme each time. Hmm. It's kind of cool. I think that's today's art.